In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these more realistic homing missiles that will follow our player or the plan in this case. So yeah, let's get started. Here I have already set up the plan movement and if you want to make this just click the link up here. It will look something like this. Alright so now it's time to add the missiles to our game. So let's drag and drop this missile here inside of the hierarchy. Let's name this, let's call it missile and we will need to change the order and layer for it to be visible. Let's put in one. It kind of looks very huge. Let's put it up here. So we need to scale it down a bit. Let's put in 0.5 and 0.5. And it kind of looks good. So yeah, we will actually go with this. And now it's time to make it follow our plan. So for that, we will make a copy of this plan movement script that we made in the previous video. And I'll put a download link for this in the description. Let's rename this to missile movement. And open this up inside of Visual Studio. And also let's rename this here. And now we need to make a few variables here. So firstly we need to make a public transform for the target here which will be the plan in this our, in our case. And now inside of the fixed update we will calculate the direction to our plan. So let's put in vector 2 direction and we will set this equal which will be equal to the difference between the plane and our missile. So target dot position minus transform dot position. All right. All right, and now we need to normalize this direction vector. And let's make a float that will store the cross product. So let's call it cross. And let's set it equal to the vector two dot cross. Oh, actually, vector is vector three dot cross. Vector three dot cross. And the cross product of and the cross product of the direction and transform dot right. And we'll get the z axis from it dot z. All right. And now we can set the angular velocity of our rigid body using this using this cross product. So rb dot angular velocity and we will set this equal to the rotational control multiplied by the value from our cross product. Let's put in cross. And also we can just get rid of all this. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity. Select the missile. Let's drag it back here. And also let's drag and drop the missile script here. Set the target. Let's set the speed equal to 5. Acceleration to 4. And the rotational control we will set this to 360. Which is in the degrees of course. And also we need to add a rigid body 2D to it. Set the gravity scale to 0. Also let's change the values here. The speed to 6, 4 and, and 180 degrees for the rotational control. Let's hit play. Uh, I knew something was wrong. Actually it will be the other way around. So we need to subtract the target position from the transform position. Get rid of this here. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity to try to test this out. Awesome, so now our homing missile works just fine. 
cool it's actually pretty fun to play all right so now we can add a trail to our missile just like our plan let's go back and i'll just make a copy from the trail of our plan drag this inside of the missile make a few changes here drag this back and also let's bump down the width here and you can just try your own trail effects here let's try this out awesome so yeah that's how we make uh, homing missiles in unity and of course we can add more missiles to our game let's try two and it works so yeah that's all for this video and if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section and i'll get to it and until next time see ya